and welcome back to my channel. So I am here with episode 7 of my Happy Mail series and today is we're getting closer to the end of the Happy Mail and getting ready to kind of put it all together. So once I have figured out all of my little add-ins that are going to happen, obviously you have to write the note. So with this in mind, since I do want to have this all kind of go together, I picked out one of my card and envelope sets that I have. I actually picked this up when I was in the U.S. over the summer, and I thought that the kind of black and tan goes with the black and craft theme that I kind of have, plus I have the floral that I have from the washi sample and some of the stickers. So I'm actually going to show you right now how I fit everything into the envelope, even though it is currently a blank card and I haven't actually written a note on it, and I'm going to explain why after. So since I have three things that I need to fit into my envelope, the way that I kind of like to do it is I essentially use the envelope to protect everything that's going to go inside, or that's not right. I use the card to protect everything that's going to go inside the envelope. So I fit my notebook and then I have my envelopes that are essentially going to help pad and also protect that wax seal. So it gets a little bit tight once we get to actually trying to fit it into the envelope, but hopefully it is going to work. Oh my goodness. So there we go. So that is how I actually get everything into the envelope. And one of the things that I like to do, I, so before I put everything in the envelope, I actually do address the envelope. And then once I've put everything in and sealed it, I then will decorate the envelope. So what I would normally do to decorate the envelope is to actually use the washi tape that I used from my washi sample. Now, since I already have this like floral design on here, I'll probably end up decorating the back of the envelope a little bit less than I sometimes would because it looks pretty on its own, but I do like to have a little bit on the front. Now, the reason why I say this is what I would normally do is because I'm actually not going to decorate this right now because I am actually, for this particular video, so this is episode number seven, I'm going to run a giveaway of this Happy Mail. So if you would like this particular Happy Mail, please leave me a comment, just one comment per person in the comments for this particular video, just kind of introducing yourself, like no identifying information, just like your first name and, you know, one of the things that you like to do, one of your hobbies, something like that. And I will randomly select somebody from the comments who I will then private message and ask for your address so I can actually mail you this happy mail. So I will add all of the information down in the description box below so that it's hopefully more clear. But if you would like to actually win this happy mail and have me send it to you, you can enter in the comment section of this video. So before I let you guys go, since otherwise this would be a super, super short video, I'm going to show you not on this particular envelope because obviously I don't, I would want, I want to protect the privacy of whoever is going to win this. And also I don't have a name and address to do right now. So what I've done is I've actually pulled out another card that I've had for like years and years and years. And obviously the colors don't match this at all, but I'm going to show you how I kind of do my card and how I decorate my envelope so that you guys can kind of see that. But I'm going to save this so that whoever wins the giveaway will have a nice little package coming to their house. So let me move this and let's get down to business. So in terms of my card, so depending on the orientation of the card and depending on who I'm actually writing to. So for example, if I'm writing to somebody that I don't know very well and it's like a first introductory thing, a lot of times I'll just write on the bottom half of the card and leave this blank so that it's a normal card. If it's somebody that I know I know better and we write longer notes, then I actually will use the entire thing. But in general, one of the things that I like to do is I usually will do their name in brush lettering and then I will usually write oops, in fountain pen. So I have, because I'm kind of pretending like this is going to go with all of the little bits and bobs that I did for this Happy Mail, even though this card is very clearly not the same color scheme, I would pick a black sign pen to do the lettering since I have a lot of kind of black and darker things in that particular set. And this is actually a fine pilot me metropolitan that is filled with organic studio Ernest Hemingway, which is like this really pretty teal blue but that looks almost red in certain lights and so basically let's pretend let's see who am i going to 
fake send this to? Well, first off, easy start. And let's see, dear Lucy? I don't know, I don't know any Lucys, so we're gonna pretend it's gonna go to Lucy. If your name is Lucy, then. <laughs> All right, so pretend I'm gonna write this to Lucy. So I'd write this in my brush pen and then I would write my note. And you guys, I tend to write really quickly when I write letters, so a lot of the time I don't actually do cursive. I will only do cursive if I'm writing a short note to somebody. So for example, if I were gonna write a short note, I would say, Dear Lucy, Okay, and that's really, really short and not very good cursive. I know I did two different U's as I was writing, or diff two different O's as I was writing. I don't even know what I'm saying. And then I would sign it at the bottom a lot of times, also in brush pen, just to kind of give a sense of closure. Okay, so let's pretend I did my note and I did a nicer note than this, but this is just kind of for the sake of showing you guys. So obviously I have to wait for this to dry. So while I wait for that to dry, whoops, I go ahead and I do my envelope. So I would tend to use the same color, whatever color I did for the letter. A lot of times I'll use that color on the envelope. So I'm going to pretend that this is gonna go to Lucy, B. Guys, I don't even know why, but apparently like I'm fake writing to Lucille Ball, but thinking that she's gonna be called Lucy. Like, I don't even know. Anyway, just picked a random letter. Um, so I would do the name usually in brush lettering, and then depending on how long the address is, I will either write it in micron or I will also brush letter it. Honestly, like the longer the address is, the more I'm gonna end up doing it in print so that it'll actually fit. So let's say for the sake of argument that I decide to switch to Micron, so I'll pick 05, and let's see. One Sunset Drive, we're gonna pretend she lives in San Diego. I don't know why, because why not? I'm not even gonna pretend to do a zip code, but pretend I do a zip code here, and then I always, because I'm writing from France, I like to clarify the country. So no matter what country, I do end up writing the country on there. And then on the back, usually on this top line, I would use a smaller point pen, so I'm gonna pick 01, and I would write in my address. So I'm not actually going to do that, but I am just gonna write my name. And I'm also super lazy. I tend not to write, whoops, forgot the I there. I tend not to write it as neatly as I do on the front just because that's in case the letter comes back to me. I wanna have my return address, but it's not like the fancier part. So that is how I do the actual addressing of the envelope. And obviously I would spend a little bit more time if this is going to a real person, but this is just kind of for showing you guys. And I tend not to do anything super, super crazy in terms of the address itself, just because I want it to be legible, I then end up decorating the envelope. So my card has been dried. I would fit everything into the like into the card like I showed you for in this section. And now I'm ready to seal my envelope. So there we go. And we are going to, I usually actually end up using a glue runner because I don't like to lick the envelopes. I just don't like that taste in my mouth. So seal up my envelope, and now I get to work around and do all of my washi tape. So I do definitely like to address the envelope before I even go in with washi tape, just to make sure I have enough room for the important stuff. But let's see, so I'm going to, how do I wanna do this? I think we're gonna do here, okay, so. And again, this isn't an exact science, it changes a little bit with each envelope, but and kind of give you guys an idea of what I like to do. Let's see. And a lot of times what I do is, since I like the torn edges on the envelope, um, if I have previously cut the edges of the washi tape, I just kind of stick them towards the outer edge so that it's 
a little bit hidden. Let's see. There. Okay. And then. And I don't always use every single washi tape that I use in, and actually, I'm because of the way this goes, I'm actually not going to use that one right here. Um, but I don't always use every single washi tape that I use for the washi card on the envelope. It just kind of depends the kind of look I'm going for. And I do usually do a little something under where the stamp goes, because here in France we have machines that give you a sticker to put down, and depending on how big the envelope is, sometimes I'll do the sticker and sometimes I'll actually go to the counter and ask them to put like stamps on there. It just kind of depends how busy they are. Um, but I do do a little bit on this side, and so usually a large portion of it gets covered up, but whatever doesn't looks kind of pretty. Let's do that. Oh, that was too long. Whoops. Oh, actually, you know what? And I did not mean to peel that up. Here we go. So, do like that. So then I like to keep my scissors on hand so that I can trim the edges. So that is the front. And then on the back, I like to reinforce where I've glued or where I've, you know, taped down the edge just so that it doesn't accidentally come open while it's in transit. Because that would not be good. There. And actually, I'm going to use the scissors back here. I'm just going to do a couple. There we go. Okay. So that is kind of what I would do for envelope decoration. And like I said, you know, it kind of depends on what this color scheme is of the washi tape that I'm using, the color of the envelope. I don't always, like as much as possible, I try not to use white envelopes, but this was just the last one that I had. Um, I like using craft envelopes better. I think it just is a nicer look and it's not quite so stark as the white, but this was just the one I had. Um, but this would definitely work on any kind of envelope that you had. And yeah, that is the way that I like to prep my Happy Mail. So. Like I mentioned, if you guys are interested in having me send you this Happy Mail, let me move my example all the way. If you guys are interested in having me send you this Happy Mail that I've made throughout this whole series, leave a comment down in the comment section and I will put the date that's going to close um, in the description box. So keep an eye on that so that you know how long this is gonna run. And at the end of it, I will randomly choose somebody and contact them to get their address to then send them this happy mail. So that, at least as far as I'm planned for now, is the end of my happy mail series. However, if you guys have any comments or questions or things that you would also like to see and you guys want to ask about those, I will kind of collect those throughout all of the videos. And if it turns out that there are more more video ideas, more things that I can film to show you guys, I will do that. But for now, that is all I have for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I had a lot of fun doing this and I'm really excited to see who ends up getting this and I hope that they'll like it. And yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!